Okay, we are recording. You just let me know when, when to start. Um, I, I got no problem waiting. Just an FYI. Yeah, we're seeing we're seeing some more people come in. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, what do you think? What do you think if I take a bike ride with my daughter tonight? You think they're gonna, there's going to be an issue? I know we're under these orders. Oh, I, I don't know. It depends. I mean, if if they're <laughs> patrolling your area, they might have something to say. I don't know. I don't know. I got to get her out of the house. <laughs> I, I hear you. I mean, I think I think the time of night might be an issue. I don't know. I mean, they haven't they haven't set a curfew where you live, have they? Yeah, they did. Oh, they did? Not, not a curfew. Well, it, there were, technically there is, but it, but it's an order to stay in unless obviously the essential stuff, but I got to get her out, man. She's, <laughs> she's no, I take my kids out. Like, you know, when, when I go pick them up, even before, like, um, my daughter finishes her schoolwork, I just let her, she just jumps on her scooter and I just, cause I live in a cul-de-sac. So I just let her go around. And oh, stuff nice. Like nice. You can't, you can't, I mean, you can't take them to the park or anything like that. So no, right. Right. For at least just like an hour or two, just let them kind of just get that energy out. Just cut loose. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> um, go ahead and start, Tom. I mean, whoever whoever um comes in late or whoever misses it, they could just watch the recording to catch okay. up. Okay, so you can go ahead and start. All right. So uh, it is recording. Um. So, all right. So uh, welcome to uh to the uh, ENC eleven oh one. Correct. Yes. 1101. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, first thing I want to start by saying is um, if you haven't already, it looks like most of you have. And uh, if you can just put your, your, uh, your mic on mute, that'd be great. Um, and what else? Uh, I, I want to try to make this interactive. So if you have a question or you want to say something, um, just write it in the chat and uh, that'll get back to me. Um, and let's see what else. Um, there will be frequent pauses. Just knowing that I've been doing this for a couple of times now, uh, there have been frequent frequent pauses. And whether it's a connection or whatever it happens to be, um, that may happen. And if it does happen, uh, Michael, if you can, just let me know that you're not hearing me like you did yesterday. I will. Uh, and I'll pause and, and wait till that reconnects or whatever. Um, and you may also hear some occasional beeps because that's because I have my email on. So um, that may be, um, th that's nothing going on there. It's just, it's just me getting emails. So um, that being said, um, <clears throat> I do want to ask you uh, if you could, if you could type into the chat, um, I have it up now. Uh, if you could type in there and just let me know uh, how many of you have actually been on our, uh, the Palm Beach databases, if you, yes or no. By the way, guys, to access the chat, there's that chat bubble at the bottom of your window. You'll just click on that and boom, you'll see it. Okay. The more people that say no, the better, because that's really, those are the people I really need to focus on that have never seen this. <laughs> Steven is like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're getting, uh, you're, getting, you're getting some no's, that's good. Yeah, no, okay. Um, I, I do want to say, and I, I, I'm getting sick of saying this, but I always start this off by saying, um, 
a good 30 years ago when I first started college, I had a, uh, a, a librarian who came to my class and did something very similar to this. And I did not pay attention to that guy. And I really wish I had because it really would have helped me in that class and helped me in classes moving forward. So please, uh, if you can remember about five to 10% of what I'm telling you today, that's cool with me. If you don't, that other 90 to 95%, it will be in a place which I'll show you where to go. Everything I'm talking to you about today uh, will be there so you can get that too. So um, let's see, uh, I wanna share my screen with you. And let's see, hopefully, can you all see my, uh, yeah. my PowerPoint? Okay, uh, this is basically what I wanna show you today. Um, I wanna go over creating a search strategy. Um, A lot of students come into the library and they ask me, hey, this is what I'm looking for. And they then they, uh, the first thing I always tell them, I just stop them right there. I say, well, is there another way you can say that? Are there any other ways you can say that? Um, and they say, usually they say, no, this is just exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, but we usually get different ways to say that. We're going to do something together, hopefully, on the chat. And um, I'm gonna get you to think maybe about different ways, hopefully, of, of saying things. Um, so you, you realize, like, we're going to do something later it, you might be like well why are we doing this um at some point you can be like well that's why we did that um i'm going to show you uh about uh logging into panther web uh, i'm going to talk to you about navigating the palm beach databases um that's the crux of my presentation is really showing you what you have access to um it's super easy now um i'm going to talk to you about navigating the palm beach library guides which are they, they call them lib guides um that's basically a, a, a uh, an electronic version of what I'm showing you today. So everything I'm showing you today is going to be on that LibGuide. And at some point, I will get to the, uh, a point where I show you how to get to that. So if you say, you know, I, Tom showed us something about some database or whatever, can't remember what it was, I get it. Um, but it's on that LibGuide, and I'll show you how to get there. Uh, and I'm also going to talk to you about seeking assistance if you need help, if you're you're stuck in your, your paper at some point or whatever. Um, I will show you how to get there. Uh, and, 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 and I might have some suggestions for you. Um, on the bottom of this slide, uh, by the way, that, that's my daughter on that slide there. She likes to be in my presentations. Um, on the bottom of that slide is my, uh, is my name and my, my contact information. I am constantly on my email. We're all working from home uh, in these weird times. Um, I'm constantly on my email. So if you have a question about today's presentation or about um, about getting onto a database or there's an issue with logging in, you name it. If you have a question, please contact me, Thomas O'Brien at FAU.edu. So uh, I'm going to stop sharing this screen for a second. And I'm going to go, Mike, we good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to share another screen. And uh, it's your Palm Beach uh, homepage. Um, the first thing you need to do, this is super important. The first thing you need to do if you're going to use any of what I'm showing you today is you have to go to Panther Web at the top of your uh, homepage. When you go there, uh, you're going to scroll down a little bit. And of course, they're going to have the, all the COVID-9 updates and whatnot. You keep on scrolling down. Scroll down, scroll down until you see log into Panther Web. Uh, you're going to log in using your student ID here. Uh, once you do that, it's going to authenticate you as a Palm Beach State College student. Um, once you do that, you're going to be able to go to the left, uh, rather to the right, and you're going to go to library. Okay, I'm going to click on that. When you go to library, uh, you're going to go to databases on campus. I know you're not on campus, you're, we're all off campus now, but if you're, you're gonna click on databases on campus and you're gonna see that you have access to 172 databases. Um, that's a lot of databases. And you're gonna be like, well, how do I know which one to use? Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of general databases that are gonna help you in this class and probably any class moving forward. There are others, if you have questions about those, please email me. Um, but I'm gonna show you a good couple, maybe three databases today that, that are gonna help you certainly with this class. Um, so let's see, um, 
I want to I want to ask you a question here. Let me let me go back here for a second, and um, I'm going to stop sharing for one second. Um, so a, a survey went out to college students uh, a few years ago, and they said, "What is the most difficult mm -hmm. thing about doing research?" What do you think they said? Anybody want to type in the chat? <laughs> there we go. Credible sources, reliable sources. Absolutely, probably what I would have said right off the bat. Um, those are great answers. It wasn't the number one answer though. Anybody want to take a guess what the number one answer was? The most difficult thing about doing research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting. What do you mean by starting? I'm a notoriously bad starter. I come in hard at the end. Finding a topic, beautiful. That's the, that was the number one answer. Um, so for, the, uh, for this presentation, let me see if I can get showing my screen again. I'm gonna pretend I chose a, a topic. And uh, cause that, that, that's always been, even my, from my days teaching, my students used to be like, hey, I have no idea what to write about. The very first thing I would tell them always is pick something you're interested in. Because if you're interested in it, then it's not even like research. Plus, when you pick a topic, you own it. So make sure you're interested in it. So um, let me get back to sharing my screen here. And um, I'm gonna pretend I picked a topic. Can we see my PowerPoint? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see if this works here. My topic is, uh, <laughs> this is a new one, uh, preventing employee theft in the workplace. Uh, if that is my topic, preventing employee theft in the workplace, what are my key words? <clears throat> there you go. Okay, theft, clearly theft. Workplace. Theft, workplace, employee theft, okay. Yeah, beautiful. Preventing, okay, so basically that's, that's really, that's it. This is a pretty easy topic. Um, I'm gonna see what we, what we can come up with when we're, when we're looking for this. Um, you know, I, I, years ago I, I worked in retail and I know that there are other ways to talk about employee theft. Uh, does anybody know any other ways to talk about what, what uh, another way to talk about employee theft? I know we got stealing. That's probably gonna come up. Embezzling, okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Any others? Yeah, I'm just writing some stuff down. Fraud, okay, good. Uh, another way to talk about employee theft. I worked in shipping and receiving, so I, I, I know this was a big issue. Synonyms or keywords are key, absolutely. Robbery. Okay. Oh, robbery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, th these are all good, good embezzling, fraud, robbery. Absolutely. Um, and we, I could even plug those into my search uh, when we get there. Um, we're doing this for a reason. Again, you might be like, why the heck are we doing this? There is a reason I'm showing you this. Um, I can tell you, larceny, nice. Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, from my experience, there was a big, in fact, there was a, a show on TV about loss prevention uh, in businesses, and it, it had to do with employee theft uh, or, or even just people stealing from the store. Um, loss prevention is another way to say uh, employee theft. There's another one it's called, uh, if you've ever been in, in involved in, uh, in retail, uh, there's another word, they, they call it shrinkage. 
Um, so those are my keywords. Uh, those are my different ways of saying employee theft and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stop sharing this screen for a second and I'm gonna share with you now uh, how to get to your databases. Can I just share a quick story real quick, Tom? Please, please. Yeah, so guys, I actually had this experience. Um, I have this experience a lot with students, but um, last semester uh, with a, no, it wasn't last semester. It was the last time I, I taught 1102. I actually had a student who was writing a paper um, advocating for midwives, right? And we were at the FAU library. It was my late class. So we were at the UFU and we were at the FAU library, like actually physically there that night, searching through their databases and stuff like that. And she had struggled to find sources like crazy. So she had her little sheet next to her. It's actually an FAU library sheet that asks you what Tom is asking you to do now, which is finding synonyms. So what does she do? She started looking up the synonyms. If you're, if you're struggling, just pull up a thesaurus and just look for synonyms. What does she do? She started with midwives. What was a synonym for it? Doula, right? D-O-U-L-A. She typed that into the database. And next thing you know, just an avalanche of sources popped up. So usually if you're struggling to find um, any kind of sources, start playing with keywords, synonyms, different ways of saying it, and you'll see. Mike, Mike I'm grateful for you for saying that because I, I, I usually have, uh, I get students come to my office all the time. Um, I think nothing of having thesaurus.com right up on my desktop right away uh, when they come in because I, I, I need to know. I mean, they got topics come in and they, I mean, who knows what's coming my way. And I need to know other ways to say this stuff. And uh, that's that's a fantastic um, piece of advice. Yeah. So, um, okay, so how, how do we get, where, where do you, I got, I got you through our databases. We have 172 found. Um, again, I, show, I, I, I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna men, uh, mention about three of them that I think are gonna be great for basically anything you need to find. Uh, the very first one, again, I apologize for the sounds. Um, the very first one I want to show you uh, is called Academic Search Complete. And if you have a pen or pencil or something like that, write this down. Um, the, the, the video will be available as well. But um, Academic Search Complete is a really good database to use. Uh, it's a good general database. Uh, I'm going to click on off, and it tells you here too, it's popular. Um, I'm going to click on here where it says off campus, because we are off campus. Um, even though you logged in to, um, Panther Web, it's going to make you log in again. Uh, there's a dual login here. Um, I have a borrower ID. I'm going to type in now. Your borrower ID to get onto these databases is going to be the number on the back of your uh, Panther card, uh, your Panther ID. And it starts with something like 24901. Uh, mine's a little different. Uh, and your password, mine's different too, but your password is going to be the month and the uh, the year of your birth. Uh, if I happen to be born in March of, say, 1990, I wish I was, um, <laughs> my, my birth date would be 0390. So that's your password to get on here. Once you do that, I'm going to click on Login. And now I'm in Academic Search Complete. It basically authenticated me as a uh, as a student for Palm Beach College, uh, State College. Excuse me. Save that. Okay. So um, now I'm in Academic Search Complete. Now, now what are we going to do? Uh, I had a bunch of keywords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an advanced search. And you have an advanced search here. You have all these different lines. You can type in your keywords. Um, if you want more lines, you can always come here to this little plus sign and you can add another line. If you really want to get narrow your topic down, you can do that. Or you can get rid of them too. Um, I'm going to stick to my topic here. My topic, my topic was employee theft. And look at this. They're giving you suggestions here. Right, right off the bat, loss preventative shrinkage. Uh, all this other stuff. I'm going to pretend I don't see that because I want to, I'm, I'm a new student and I want to do this for the first time. So I'm going to click on employee theft. A 
Okay, so we found in Academic Search Complete, we found it says 1,495 articles. That's awesome. Um, but you know what? Maybe if I just say, you know, maybe I'm talking about employee theft or loss prevention, which they were actually telling us we should do. Um, I'm going to click on that now. So from 1,400 articles, now we have 38,000 articles. That's ridiculous. Um, we can get even more ridiculous because I said, you know what? I worked in retail. I know that some of these companies talk all the time about something called shrinkage. So I'm expanding my search. Now we have 66,000. So instead of 1,400 articles of what I was looking for, now I have 66,000. Thousand. Um, I want to mention something here. People can say, oh, hey, I, I hear it all the time. Well, I can go on Yahoo, I can go on Google, uh, and this and that, and I can get a heck of a lot more than that. You're correct. But half of what you're looking at is not really quality stuff. You want reliable sources, use the databases. Uh, it's part of your tuition. I can't stress that enough. Um, get used to using these. I wish I had paid attention again to that librarian who talked to this to uh, my class about this and I didn't really pay attention to it. Um, but here we have, uh, let's see, we have 66,000 results. Now that's a little crazy. How do we narrow that down? It's so simple. I almost want to go back to school now, but not really. So how do I narrow that down? Uh, Mike, are we good with the connection? Yeah. Uh, so first thing I would say to you, uh, on the left-hand side of the screen, it says limit two. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you're looking at full text articles. You don't want something to come up that says, hey, if we had that article, this is what it's about, but we don't really have access to it. Um, there are ways you can get access to it, but if you need that article right now, make sure you click on full text. You'll get everything that comes up that's full text. We just get rid of, now we have 27,000. We just get rid of 60 some odd, 50 some odd thousand articles that weren't full text. I don't even want to look at them if they're not full text. So we get rid of them. What else can you do? On the left hand side of the screen, all of your filters are here. Um, some of your instructors may say, you make sure that your article is peer reviewed. All peer reviewed means, and I get this all the time in the library, oh my God, I found these articles. How do I know if they're peer reviewed? Well, did you check off this box? That's all you got to do. Check off that box. Now you know it's peer reviewed. Um, you may not have to do that for certain classes. Some of you may need to do that for. Just check off that box. All peer reviewed means is that experts in the field looked at that article and in related fields looked at that article and said that cat knows what they're talking about. So okay. it's, it's a peer reviewed article. It, it's a really, it's a big accomplishment if you get uh, published in a peer reviewed journal. Uh, for the purpose of this presentation, I don't need peer reviewed stuff. So um, I will say though, that um, the strategies from thieves have probably changed since 1931. So I don't need articles from 1931. I want articles that are current, probably in the last 10 years or so. So we'll do 2009 to 2020. Now we're down to 20,000 articles. That's still quite a lot. What can we do now? If you scroll down a little bit more, I can say, you know what? I don't need academic journal articles. I really don't need that, but I do want magazine articles. We have 1,800 of them. So again, we went from 60 some odd thousand articles to 1827. Boom, 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 boom. Just a couple of clicks and we narrowed down to 1,800. That's still quite a bit. What else can we do? Scroll down a little more. And you see, you can search by subject. And you can, it says here, you can show more, show me more subjects. I want to look at employee theft in the United States. I want to look at that, how it relates to, uh, I don't know, psychological aspects. I don't know, this is an ad hoc search here. Um, let's try psychological aspects. We've got six articles about that. We update. Now here we have 30 articles of exactly what I was looking for, hopefully. Now some of them may be a little, it might not be quite what you're looking for, but you're narrowing your topic down. You're really getting to what you were looking for. Um, let's pretend, and again, I, I haven't looked at these, so I don't know what even came up, but um, you have options here. Uh, number one, Tennessee City employees, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, it tells you it's looking at HTML full text. That just means you're looking at a web page. You click on that and you're going to look at a web page. The next one shows you a PDF full text. Um, and it's in Spanish, actually. Not what I want. So let me scroll down a little bit. Here's another one in PDF full text. That just means you're looking at a scanned image of that article. Um, those are great because um, if you have the option between one or the other, you want to look at the PDF if you're going to make a direct quote in, in for your citation. You need the page number, and they'll give you that in the PDF. Um, every single database will give you certain bells and whistles, if you will, uh, things that they can do that other ones can't do. Um, so I'm, I show Academic Search Complete first because I like some of the things that this, this thing does. Uh, I'm going to click on that first article, even though it's probably not what I want, but just to show you what it does. So um, at the end of your paper, the most important thing you need to do is you need to cite your sources. Back in the day, when you had to cite your source, you had to grab this little book, tells you the author's name, the last name, something comma, something's in parentheses, something's in italics. Who remembers that stuff? On Academic Search Complete and on a lot of databases, if you go to the right-hand side of the screen here, you click on Cite. And when you click on Cite, you just find the format that you're using, AMA, APA, uh, MLA, and you copy and paste and put that in your reference page or your works cited page, whatever style you're using, and it's done for you. That is a super time saver. If you had 15 sources, that page alone took a forever and a day to do. No longer, because the databases do it for you. Um, so what else do I like about this uh, particular database? Let me get out of the citation. Um, some people, their first language is not English. You could also translate the article. I have no idea what half of these things they even say, but they're in different languages. You hit translate and boom, it comes up in like two seconds and it's translated in that language. Um, I will say this, if you've ever used uh, Google Translate, uh, you'll know that you're like, well, it's not quite right. That's just things that get lost in translation. It happens. Um, so be careful with that. Um, I will say too, another good thing about this database, they give you the option to listen to the article. I'm the kind of person that actually learns better by listening uh, and by doing and by, uh, and by watching, not necessarily by reading. So you can actually listen to the article and, and, and do it that way as well. Maybe you've got dishes to do. Uh, we're all doing stuff with this coronavirus thing. Uh, put the laptop down, click listen, do whatever you're gonna do, and, and you can get that done too. Uh, this is kind of useless, but I like to show it. You can change the accent from American, Australian, or British. So um, that, uh, let, me, let me go to the chat here. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Um, does anybody have any questions about, about, this, uh, about this database? It's a really good one to use. It's a smaller one. The next one I'm going to show you is much larger, and you're going to see that in a second. Any questions? All right, so I'm, I'm going to move on. Um, again, if you do have a question and I've moved on, just unmute yourself and I, I will, I, you know, I'll answer your question. Um, so I'm going to get out of this database and then go back to my list of databases. Absolutely, Michael. Um, that's coming. That's coming after the, this next database. Okay, so um, what are the database? I just showed you a small database and it, and it had 66,000 articles that you wanted for your topic uh, or my topic. So I'm gonna show you a different one. Uh, if you go to the letter P and there's another one called ProQuest. If you scroll down, you got ProQuest Criminal Justice. That's not what I want. Maybe my topic's pr criminal justice. That's cool, you can go there. I'm going to go to ProQuest All Subscribe Content because that has like everything. So I'm, again, I'm off campus.
And here it is. This looks just like the last database. If you can use one of these, you can use almost any one of them. Uh, if you have a question about an, a, a particular one, again, just contact me and I'll, I'll do my best to help you. Um, what you need to do though, is we need to go to an advanced search, which we're already at, thank God. Um, and I'm gonna do, um, again, employee theft. And I'm just gonna type that in, just like the last uh, web, uh, excuse me, database. Uh, they give you suggestions here. Hey, Tom, is this what you're trying to say? Well, it kind of is, but I'm going to pretend I don't see that. So we got employee theft. Right off the bat, we have 175,000 results. This is a much, much larger database than the first one I showed you. Um, I like to show the first one because it gives you a good idea of what you can find. This is a larger database. Uh, again, right off the bat, we have 175,000 results. But you know what? Maybe some of those uh, articles don't call it employee theft. They might call it, um, what, else, what else did I use? I used, um, I can't even remember. <laughs> what did I use? Help me out, Mike. Um, shrinkage. Shrinkage is one. I know that's coming. Uh, employee theft or uh, loss prevention. There you go. Yeah, it's been a long time. Loss prevention or employee theft. Now we have 565,000 results. But you know what? Let's put in shrinkage too. Now we have 653. So you can see the difference between the two databases, 100 and something article, thousand articles. Now we have 653,000 articles. Much larger database. Uh, really, really, uh, if, if I can just tell you to put a star next to this one, this is a really good one to use. Um, and just like the other database, I said that certain things, they can do certain things that other ones can't. Uh, this one does pretty much what the other one does. You can, you want to make sure you're looking at full text. Here's your peer reviewed. Uh, you want to make sure you're looking at what kind of, uh, what kind of media that you're looking at. Well, I want, let's see, magazine articles. Now we're down to 11,000. From 650,000 articles, now we're down to 11,000 with one click. And you know what? My teacher said it has to be within the last 10 years. So I click on that, now I'm down to 4,000 results. Scroll down a little more, and I want to go by subject. And show me more subjects. And you know what? This is a pretty in-depth, uh, Paper, am I am I good, Mike? Am I am I losing anybody? No, no, they're they're they're, they're okay. They're okay, so what I want to look at is security management. I don't know. Again, ad hoc search here. Um, so I'm down to 152 articles on security management. So within click, 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 boom. Apply. Okay, it's taking a little bit. All right, let's pretend it applied. Um, the, th the, the real reason I'm showing you this database is because A, it's huge, and uh, B, uh, we've all been there when we probably miss it, uh, mistakenly kicked the, the plug out of the computer and, or the power went down and we lost our stuff. Uh, this database is great because you can click on this little silhouette here in the corner, in the right-hand corner. You can create your research account sign up for it, it's free. Uh, and then you create your account and then you can save your searches. So you, can, you don't have to worry about, hey, I found something yesterday and I can't find it today. Save your searches, they're all there and you'll have them forever. So um, that's a cool thing about this database. And another cool thing about this database, uh, on the last database I showed you, they, they, I showed you how you can go to the citation, and you have to go to each individual article and you get your citation, yada, yada. Let's pretend that the first five articles in this database were exactly what I was looking for and that won't happen, but let's pretend. If I click on those first five articles, hey, I got my, my articles, I'm all good to go. You come up to the right-hand side where it says cite, the little quotes here. And here they are. And they are in alphabetical order even. Copy, paste, put it in your reference, works cited page, done. I'm on APA, no, 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 I'm using MLA. 
find you MLA, eighth edition, that's the latest one. Here are my works cited page. Copy, paste, all done for you. It's super, super simple now. Um, and, and most databases will give you this option. Not everyone, but most will. I'm showing you the ones that will, because I think it's gonna help you. So um, any questions about, uh, this is ProQuest. Any questions about ProQuest? Am I losing anybody? <laughs> No, we got you. We got you. All right, cool. Um, another database I want to show you. I'm just going to look at the time to make sure I'm on point here. Uh, another database I want to show you. I'm going to get out of this one. Uh, and again, you have 172 databases. Uh, let's see. We're on P. Let's go to all. 172 databases. Uh, you have a ton of stuff here. It's just ridiculous what you have access to. Um, I'm going to show you the next one. I'm going to show you because you wanted to get uh, counterpoints, right? Counter arguments, yeah. Counter arguments, okay. So I'm going to go to something called opposing viewpoints. Uh, it is not called opposing viewpoints anymore, so you have to go to the letter G. Hint, hint, write that down. Go to the letter G and scroll down. And you got stuff here, Gale Health and Wellness. Again, there's, there's good things here that you can use these databases for other than um, work stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep scrolling down here. Gale in context, opposing viewpoints. Hint, hint, write this down. I guarantee you need that for this class. Uh, and it tells you again, most popular. So we're off campus, I'll click on that. We've already logged in, so it should take me right to it. Okay, here's Gale in context, opposing viewpoints. Um, I used to teach a class at another college and it was called critical thinking. Uh, it was basically teaching people how to argue. I love to argue. Even if I don't believe what I'm arguing, I will argue with you just to see if I can win. How do I do that? Um, on the chat here, if you can tell me, how do you win an argument? Strong points, absolutely. <laughs> Tell it really loud, awesome. <laughs> Fallacies, nice. <laughs> Maybe grab the neck. Poking holes in the reasoning, nice. Not exactly what I'm looking for. These are great, these are all awesome. Anything else, how do you win an argument? Prove them wrong. <laughs> argue, their, argue their side better than they can. I love that. Lewis, thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I, I used to grab my students and I say, you know, hey, you need to pick a topic. And again, pick a topic you're interested in because then you just, it, it's easy. Um, sell opposing side, awesome. Uh, you know, th there are so many answers to that question. And uh, I think the best one is don't just know your side to the issue know the other side. Uh, and that's what this scale and context opposing viewpoints is all about. Um, you can see here, let me get out of this chat for a second. You can see here, if I scroll down to where it says browse issues, and again, if you're really having a problem picking a topic, come to this uh, database, because I'm gonna click on browse issues, and there's all sorts of awesome issues here. Polygamy, pornography, uh, abortion, Again, all controversial topics, whether or not you even thought about it before, you probably have an opinion about some of these things. Privacy, prostitution, gangs. Uh, and again, the list goes on and on. There's so many topics here. And um, I'm, again, I'm scrolling down to just to show you the scope of things here. Medicare, uh, media violence. Hey, we did that uh, in the last class. Uh, teen driving, teen dating, television. You name it, there's a ton of topics here. Pick something that you're interested in. Um, I'm gonna pick something just to show you that interests me because I have personal um, uh, personal experience with. And uh, it's, uh, let's see, curled up here, adoption. Now, it's not quite what I'm looking for. So I, hey, maybe I don't quite see the topic that I want. I wanna go to international 
adoption because I've adopted internationally. That means something to me. Click on that and, and see what comes up. So if you don't, basically my point is if you don't find your topic there, type it in because they don't list everything that they have here. There's a ton of topics here. Um, for international adoption, I have academic journals. I have 11. Uh, those are written at a high level. Um, viewpoints are awesome. If you need a counterpoint or a counter argument, go to the viewpoints. What do I mean by that? Well, we have 38 viewpoints on international adoption. Personally, as somebody that's ad adopted internationally, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look at this number two. International adoption should be discouraged. Are you kidding me? All right, I totally disagree with that. But I'm gonna look at it. I wanna know their points, right? Again, you wanna win an argument, know the other side. So international adoption should be discouraged. If I was to print this out, I'm scrolling down quickly here. If I was to print this article out, it probably is about three pages, maybe. They're not long, they're very interesting. I'm gonna read that and then be like, you know what? I totally disagree. I get their points, they made some good points. I totally disagree though. Um, but now I have, I have both sides of the issue here. I know my side, I know the other side now too. I still agree with my side, but I know that other side, you have an informed opinion. Um, so the great thing about this database though, maybe you think, maybe you agree with this topic. If I scroll back, I can find the exact opposite uh, reasoning. International adoption should be supported. Again, this, this means something to me. I've adopted internationally. I look at this and I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to read this and be like, yep, 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 yep. Those are all the points I would make. I did read the other side though, and I get it. I totally get it. I understand the argument, but this is my argument. So you have both sides here. This, that's what I love about this database. Um, what else can you do with this database? Just like the other database, you can come to the site button. Yep. And you can find your MLA or your APA, whatever your citation style is, copy, paste, boom, done. So. It's so easy. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it makes me mad it's so easy now. <laughs> so translate. I can translate my article. I can come over here and listen. I got things to do. I got dishes to do. I got to feed my cat, feed my, 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 you know, whatever. I can do that, and I can put the laptop down, and I can listen to that article. Again, that's how I learn better. Um, that's just me. So um, let me go to that chat for a second here. Is anything happening here? No. Okay. So, um yeah, that, that, you know, again, that's supposing viewpoints, but it's not just the only thing that you can do here. Uh, opposing viewpoints is great for other reasons. If I go up to my, my topic again, I'm looking at my viewpoints, my academic journals. Some of your classes may say, hey, do you have any primary sources? It might be an, uh, an interview with somebody that, uh, that uh, adopted internationally, and you can throw that in there. Uh, reference uh, material, encyclopedia articles about adoption and international adoption. News articles, uh, they're pretty current. These have all been put together by information professionals. Again, you don't have to worry about this being crap that you're getting off the internet. Um, I personally like this here. You have images, videos, and audio. How better, especially if you're giving a presentation, or even if you're just writing this in a paper, throw an image in there of kids that need homes. You know, work work to people's hearts. You know, throw make make your your presentation work. Uh, throw in uh, a video of some kids that need homes or audio clips of kids that just are asking for parents. Um, <clears throat> how can't that touch people? This is really good stuff. Websites here, they have statistics. You really want to win an argument? Throw some numbers at some people, right? Say chew on this for a second. What about these numbers? Uh, you can make statistics say anything you want them to say, if you word it the right way. So uh, they have statistics here, like charts and graphs and stuff like that, magazine articles. There's a ton of stuff in this. Again, for your counterpoints, you have counter arguments, go to opposing viewpoints. Again, it's under G though for Gale opposing viewpoints. So uh, let me stop sharing this screen for a second and make sure I'm on point here. Michael, if I'm, if I'm missing anything, please let me know. No, it's been perfect. Uh, okay. perfect. Uh, okay, so share screen again. Let's make sure I'm on here. 
Okay, so those are the database. I showed you three databases out of 172 that you have access to. We could be here all night doing this. Um, I do want to talk to you about navigating the libguides. Um, if you forget anything I'm talking about today, uh, go to the libguides. How do I get there? Let me stop sharing this again. And okay. Mike, if I cut out, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here I am. Okay, let's uh, share screen again. And how do you get to the libguides? I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the main page for the Palm Beach State College Library. And on that page, if I scroll down, you'll see this thing here, it says uh, research guides. Um, there are a lot here, there's a ton because there are a ton of librarians and other people that have made things here. I think for this class, I, I would probably implore you to just to go to go where it says by owner and just search for me. My, again, my name's Tom O'Brien, Thomas O'Brien, FAU. Uh, and you scroll down, you can use either ENC 1101 here, I made this for, uh, specifically for this class and your instructor. Uh, or I can scroll down to PBSC Virtual Library Companion, which I just made two days ago. And you look for this handsome guy here. And then everything I told you about today is here. Find articles. How do I find articles? Well, I can go to issues and controversies. That's a database I didn't show you. It's just like opposing viewpoints. Uh, ProQuest, I showed you. Here it is. Here's your access to that. Um, and more through this stuff here I put the other day that, you know, I, I can't, I don't have 24 hours to show you this stuff. Opposing viewpoints, that's here. Uh, academic search complete, that's here. And this, and again, there's others. So uh, if you have problems citing stuff, writing a citation tab. Uh, you want to worry, if you're worried about, am I plagiariz plagiarizing? How do I know that? Go to that tab. Uh, and, and other stuff as well, searching for books. Uh, that's kind of a moot point right now with the library closed, but um, you get the point. You have this this uh, library companion here, this guide that'll take you to those places that I know that'll help you in this class. So um, that's how you get to your libguides. And again, there will be a recording of this, so if anybody has any questions, in fact, maybe I should do that. Let me let me just make sure I'm not missing anything here. Any questions? Am I going too fast? Am I missing something? Guys, if you have questions, go ahead and post them. I think you handled it pretty well, actually, but. Okay, and, and again, they can always email me because um, that is my next point. Let me stop the share on this and go back to, I believe my next point was uh, seeking assistance. So um, how do I seek assistance? Let me stop share on this. Go back again. I'm sorry for the back and forth here. And uh, from the Palm Beach State College Library website, you also have the option here of going to Ask a Librarian, right down here on the left side. Uh, somebody from Palm Beach is going to be monitoring and waiting for questions. Uh, we're all working from home. It is what it is. Uh, and we're here, uh, and you can do it that way too. You can get a librarian from Palm Beach. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, and uh, let me just get out of this for a second. If you don't want, if, if you like more like, hey, you know what, Tom came, well, didn't come to your class, but Tom talked to us the other night. Uh, you can go to library.fau.edu and, and Michael, is, is that on the FAU screen? Yeah. Okay. You can come here as well. And if you come here, at the top of the screen, again, that's library.fau.edu. Go to the top of the screen. It tells you here the hours were obviously closed. Uh, go to Ask a Librarian. And you can either use your text on your phone, chat from your computer, or email, or whatever you want to do. And you can pose your question to either, you can say, hey, look, that Tom was telling us something about whatever. That question will be funneled to me. Uh, or you can ask one of the other librarians. It's not just me. You have access to six other librarians over there um, in my department that specifically help people with research. So um, I'll be more than glad to, to you can 
heck, you know what? <laughs> you, you can call me if you want. Um, in fact, if, if you have a pen and paper, write down my number, my work number is, uh, it's 561-297-5500. Uh, Again, 561-297-0204. That is my direct extension. Obviously, I'm not in my office right now. I'm at home. But um, that number is going to be forwarded to my cell number. So if you need help that way, too, I'll be more than happy to, to do that as well. Um, no crank calls, please. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm going to open this up here if anybody has any questions. I think we did pretty good on time today. Uh, yeah. If anybody has any questions about about anything, if you have, uh, uh, well, I can't even mention the, the library because we're, we're actually closed. But um, any questions at all, I'll be more than happy to, to answer them. I guess I should stop sharing and go to the chat here. Can I just get a yes or no? Does this seem useful? Oh, it's very useful. This is a sharp group. That this is good. You just gave them uh, ammo. So they ready, they ready. They got a they got a good month until uh, the final paper is due. So they got four weeks to, you know, slowly but surely. But yeah, and, and again, you you have you have you have my email. True. <laughs> I gave you guys my number. I don't usually do that, but I gave you my number. I'm bored at home here, so if you need to, I'd be more than happy. I love working with your, your your classes, man. Guys, I'm telling you, he's anxious to help y'all. I'm telling you. I didn't say anxious. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. I'm telling you, you have any issues, you tell him, Tom, I want to write about this. Boom, he will help you. He will help you find sources, all that stuff. This is why I have him come speak at my classes. Yeah, you do have tutors. Um, <laughs> problem is, they, they are closed right now. Um, it, 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 Stephen, um, question to you is, what kind of tutoring are you looking for? Well, I'll tell you this, um, if you're looking for English tutoring on the class Blackboard site, as far as um, tutoring for like composition and stuff like that, I did put a link there on the class Blackboard site. If you look at it where it's green and I put it uh, like a little asterisk next to it that said online tutoring, um, I think the English department and I think the writing lab are offering uh, tutoring as far as that's concerned. Now, tutoring as far as the other subjects, that's not in my purview, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I could ask, I could ask and see if I could find out. But yeah, the English, the English tutoring is, is there. I put the link on the, on the class Blackboard site. Boom, you can look at it there. Mike, and this if, class, this class rocks. <laughs> they're awesome. They're awesome. They're I know, awesome. I can tell. They're awesome. Um, we just had to, it was a little sticky these first couple of weeks. We just had to get through that second paper. I'll but bet. now we've got like, this is our focus the rest of the way is just writing this final paper. So, and they got four weeks. So right. it's good. It's good. So if you, you guys are, you guys are good then? Because Tom's, Tom's about to end this. So if you get kicked out, it's because he ended the meeting. All right. Awesome. All right, Tom, just uh, shoot me the link when it downloads and I'll shoot it to them and then they can go back and watch it if they need it. I will do. And I will, I will uh, forward you the other one as well um, when now they put can. it on YouTube. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I'll, I'll be able to send that to my other class too. All right. All right. I will. Uh, hey, uh, be safe. Be well, everybody, all of you too. Be safe, be safe, be well. And um, you need me, you know where to get me. All right, y'all. So as soon as Tom sends you the link, I'll send I'll send a new um, announcement with a little bit of info too about next week, and that's it. You, you know, you know the usual. If you guys have any questions to me personally, just shoot me an email or whatever. All right. All right, Tom. Thank you All so right, much man. again, man. All right, anytime. See ya. See ya.